Hey everyone, this is Alicia, also known as AVP60685. Um, today I'm with another cooking video. Today we're going to make some eggplant parmigiana. So what we're going to use is the Michael Angelo's, the breaded eggplant cutlet. And we're also going to put some spaghetti sauce, and we're also going to put spaghetti, and I'm also going to fix other things, but that's not going to be on the video. But the video today is basically showing you how to make my eggplant parmigiana. So I'm going to start out with a jar of spaghetti sauce. I'm using today, I'm using ragu, the garden combination one. And I will be using a full jar of this. Okay. Let me pause this for one tiny second. All right, so I've added in the sauce. So the next thing I'm going to add is one full chopped up onion. This one was actually a red onion, but you can use white onion, but I typically use any onion I have on hand. I'll stir that up with my handy dandy spoon. Like I said, if you don't like onion, you can omit the onion, but I like onion, so I'm going to add onion to this. And then I'll be adding a little bit of mushrooms to it, since I like mushrooms. I'm going to be using the Gregorio one, which has got pieces and stems in it. So let me add that in. Okay, so I'm back. I've added in a little bit of jalapenos. Like I said, if you don't like spice, you can omit this. I also added in the mushrooms. I also added a little bit of crushed red peppers. And so... With the eggplant parmigiana, it's sort of the way I make my lasagna, but it's a little bit different because I use spaghetti noodles. And also, I will be using eggplant cutlets. You can use it with raw eggplant and just bread it in oil. With these eggplant cutlets, which I have eight of them already, these were already breaded. All I have to do is just fry these into oil, which I will show you what it's going to look like once it gets a little bit closer. So like I said, if you don't like spice, you can omit the crushed red pepper, you can omit the jalapeno, and if you don't like mushrooms, you can omit the mushrooms, and you can also omit the onion as well, because some people don't like that, but I do. And I'm turning this on to lowish heat. You don't want it too high, but you don't want it too low either. So basically, I'm starting out with the sauce. That's the sauce base for the eggplant and everything like that. Once that gets a little bit closer to being completed and everything, then that can be transformed with the eggplant and put into a baking pan and that will bake in the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes and everything but like I said this is the first step is getting the sauce started and so like I said I've added in mushrooms I've added in jalapenos I've added in crushed red peppers I would have added Italian seasoning but I already could taste some of it into the sauce already so I chose to admit that and like I said you can use any kind of sauce this one just happens to be the ragu chunky garden combination one and this one is actually 45 ounces it's a little bit larger than most but me and my mom absolutely love spaghetti sauce and that's one of our favorite things to do we buy it and we get it into larger quantities and so that's one of the things we do but this sauce when you cook it you need to let it cook for a I want to say about five to ten minutes at the most and then like I said you'll bake it into a baking pan for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes but like I said I'm going to show you step by step what we're doing the first step is the sauce because the sauce needs to get a little bit warmer than it already is and it's got to cook down a little bit the onions the mushrooms the jalapenos and then we'll get ready for the next step, which is frying the eggplant cutlets. Like I said, if you have actual eggplant, what my tip is basically that you will fry that in oil. And you can also use breadcrumbs to fry this. This one will be something a little bit differently. This saves me a step where it's already been done. And these actually I bought from BJ's. They may not have this brand at your store. I just happened to order from BJ's and they had these and so yeah because I didn't know if they were going to have them or not the person wasn't sure and fortunately she was able to find it in the store and so here we go 
eggplant parmesan coming up um the last step that we will be doing is adding in cheese you can use any cheese i happen to use cheddar so let's stay tuned for the next step guys all right bye bye okay everyone we are back and we're ready for step two the sauce is already ready it's bubbling a little bit so we're going to get ready for the next step which i have a skillet getting hot now with the olive oil you can use vegetable oil but i like olive oil and the flavor of it so i'm going to put these cutlets in there once that oil gets hot and fry them on either side for about two to three minutes on each side so this one will be two minutes this one will be two minutes so but you can fry more than one at a time i typically do about two to three these cutlets are all different sizes um like i said if you're using fresh eggplant it helps if you coat it in breadcrumbs and then fry it after you coated it on either side for two to three minutes these were already breaded so i don't have, that saves me one step but like i said if you don't have them already breaded that's okay it's perfectly fine you can use fresh eggplant and just coat it in breadcrumbs for about two to three minutes on either side after you've coated it on either side um i don't have anything to stick with it when i coat it so basically just coat it for two to three minutes and then fry it and then fry it on the other side and then you'll be ready good to go and let's get ready for the next step after this oil gets hot which shouldn't be too much longer which i see it starting to steam a little bit so that's let me know that this spaghetti is almost ready but also for my oil so you hear that sizzling sound that lets you know that your oil is ready like i said i'm doing two i have approximately eight cutlets in here so like i said if you don't really like eggplants you won't really like this recipe but like i said you can modify it i guess to other vegetables but this one is a recipe for eggplant parmigiana and it helps if you turn down the oil when it's frying that way it doesn't pop in your face because that will hurt trust me so let's get ready for Move this one and we're gonna move that one like I said you can do three I'm gonna do three in here and then we'll get ready for the next step guys when we show what it looks like when it's flipped over so hang on guys okay guys so this is what some of the ones that have already been fried for two to three minutes on either side this is what they're going to look like with the sauce the last step after i fry all of these eggplant cutlets will be to top it with cheese and bake it in the oven at 350 for about like i said 30 to 45 minutes depending on your oven and how quickly it cooks like i said i'm frying my eggplant cutlets in olive oil mine is extra virgin olive oil you can use any kind of oil really but like i said i use the olive oil to make it a little bit healthier and so these are going to have to fry for about two minutes once i flip those over then i will get then they'll fry on two minutes on that side and then we will start on the final ones and then we will put the cheese and then get ready for bacon so hang on for the last little bit when we get ready to assemble the rest of it all right hang on guys okay guys we're on our next to the last step which is basically i topped it with the cheese now that has finished frying and now i gotta bake this in the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes and everything and once that finishes baking then i will show you guys what it looks like all right stay tuned in about 30 to 40 minutes okay everyone we're back and here is how the eggplant looks once it's finished being baked after for 30 minutes for in my oven your oven may take about 45 minutes but mine took about 30 minutes at 350 and so that's my quick and easy eggplant parmigiana hope you guys enjoy it and i will see you guys in another video bye